Yo, we are back. <clears throat> I thought I had some shit to do and take care of, but I didn't. So we're going to make more YouTube content. <clears throat> so here's the IMDb ratings guessing game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, basically, they give you one movie on the left-hand side, and you have to say whether the score on IMDb is higher or low lo lower. I think it also asks you some other questions, that kind of thing. Um, but that's the general kind of outlook of this game. Um, I'm going to try to play until I get one wrong. Hopefully that isn't too quick. Maybe it's really quick. Maybe we have like a four or five minute video. I don't really know. Um, but uh, essentially this is just going to test my knowledge of not only these movies, but also of the IMDb database itself. Um, so uh, we have on the left, we have Rebecca. Also something to note, when we get one uh, right on the right, it goes to the left as the next basis for the next question, right? So... Um, Rebecca, uh, directed by Alfred Hitchcock, Lawrence Olivier, Joan Fontaine. Um, I watched probably about 10 minutes of this movie in graduate school. We we're talking about um, like film critique. Uh, specifically, Alfred Hitchcock is always the person you look at for um, <coughs> the feminine gaze, essentially. Um, in classic cinema, there's a lot of emphasis on the, a man staring at a woman. Uh, the fetish, fetishization of women, that kind of thing. <coughs> <coughs> I am apparently choking on nothing. <coughs> um, Rebecca is about a girl that's in this big house and there's something nefarious going on. I'm not entirely sure um, what happens, but it's Hitchcock, so something uh, suspenseful. Um, Vertigo is a uh, classic movie. seen all of it. Kim, Kim Novak's eyebrows, if you know, you know, am I right? Um, but um, probably considered a top five Hitchcock movie um, when you have the, like, Psycho, The Birds. It's another one I'm, I'm kind of blanking on. But it doesn't matter. Oh, Rear Window. That, anything with James Stewart and Alfred Hitchcock. Rope. Um, it, I believe BFI, I was just talking about this with my dad the other day, listed this as the greatest movie of all time. Um, IMDb has it in the top 10. It is almost certainly going to be higher than Rebecca. Um, a little bit more about Vertigo. It's basically um, Jimmy Stewart has an issue with Vertigo because he was a detective who was running after an assailant, and he tripped and fell and was looking down. He got Vertigo, and he falls in love with this woman, and it's not quite what it seems. Um, very interesting, there's a, a church in the movie that someone, uh, one of my friends had pointed out to me. Uh, the church didn't quite fit their specifications for what they needed, so um, they actually had someone paint an addition on, and then they used forced perspective to like make it look like that was part of the church. Um, really interesting cinematography stuff, especially for that time frame. So Vertigo is higher. It's only 8.3, I would have thought more than that. Um, the Hunt... Um, I believe this is the movie that has, like, a lot of political uh, shit going on there, uh, where, I forget what her name is, Wand, I forget, well, anyway, like, in the, in the beginning of the movie, it's really weird, a bunch of, like, really big actors and actresses die, and it's very political, and it's meaning, it's gotta be lower, um, X Men: Days of Future Past. This is where it's going to get tough, okay? Um, because I really loved X Men: um, First Class. I think is the first one. Um, January Jones looked beautiful. Um, that's a that's a distinct memory. Kevin Bacon looked less beautiful, but that's okay. He was wearing a helmet. Um, I did not care for this movie. I gotta have to believe that it's higher than The Hunt, though. Because it's, it's X-Men Days of Future Past, which I think is still considered a pretty decent installment, um, as opposed to, like, um, uh, the new Mutants, which was terrible, and the one that was after this one. That got an 8? I guess I'll have to rewatch. Does Iron Man 3... Okay, what do I have to say about Iron Man 3 first? Um, <clears throat> first and foremost, it should be said that Robert Downey Jr.'s sunglass game in the marvel cinematic universe is probably the strongest sunglass game of any movie this has to be considered the worst installment 
and I want to say lower. Um, Hotel Rwanda. I've only seen Don Cheadle's Hotel Rwanda once. I don't know anything about Terry George. Um, it, obviously, it's about uh, Idi Amin. Wait, is that Rwanda? No. Am I getting my... Uganda. Yeah, no. Um, but essentially, it's, it's racial genocide and... Um, Edie, uh, I'm sorry, Don Cheadle gives um, a place for people to stay to stay away from. Is this the Hutus and the Tutsis? I believe it is. Um, basically, because of colonialism, lines were drawn that makes no sense, and two ethnic groups in Rwanda hated each other. And the one, I think, believe the Tutsis were in power, which led the Hutus, who were larger in number, to hate them, and they started killing them off and in in a genocidal type way. I don't want to say like large numbers or high numbers and stuff because it really doesn't give uh, credence to um, what actually happened. But I believe this will be better than Iron Man 3. Yeah. Spencer. I've never heard of this movie, so I'm going to go with lower. Um, I was a pretty big Kristen Stewart hater back in the day. Um, I will say one thing. Her movie Underwater, despite the fact that it was not that good, was not as bad as I thought it would, which is a crowning achievement for me. Uh, and I don't know if anybody else has this um, sensation, but I always go into movies, well, some movies with really high expectations, and when they don't meet them, um, that makes them very bad to me. Okay, but somehow, you know, it's somewhat of a um, self-fulfilling prophecy because there's no way they'll be able to meet those expectations. So I'd rather go to a movie with basement low expectations and say, okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Um, one particular instance of this would be um, 47 Ronin. I saw that in theaters. Is it a good movie? No. Okay. Do I think it's okay to watch? Yes. Because I thought it was going to be just the worst movie ever made because of its... Um, it was like pushed back a whole bunch because of um, production delays and stuff. But actually, I thought it looked pretty good. It looked pretty beautiful. The fight scenes were fine. Um, uh, fun fact, one of my friends um, had his ISP turned off because he illegally downloaded uh, 47 Ronin. It was not worth it, I guess. Two things you shouldn't do. Visit Amber Hurden High School, illegally download 47 Ronin. You know, just buy the DVD. Now Blu-ray, whatever. This is going to be lower, anyway. Um, what do I know about Metropolis? I'm pretty sure, if I'm not wrong, um, Sam Esmail is making a Metropolis series. Let's see if Future Projects has that. Um, okay. <coughs> I'm, hmm. Is that what gas, Gaslit is? No. I'm 90% sure I read something that he was doing a Metropolis. Let's see. I'm looking through this too quickly. This is for my own information at this point. Yeah, see? Look, 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 look. From Sam Esmail Lands. Yes. So he's making a TV series. This is going to be higher. I think it's one of the greatest things of all time ever made. Top Gun. Um, Top Gun. Um... Of course, Maverick, did it just come out? I don't know. So it seems like a weird movie for Tony Robbins to be in, especially since I'm not sure if he could actually fit into one of those planes uh, because he's like six foot eight or some shit. And Tom Cruise is a is a very lofty 5'7". Um, I won't say anything bad about him, though, because even at the age of nearly 60, he could probably kill me. So... Um, that kind of goes into the three things you don't do. The Amber Heard thing. You, you get it. Just don't let Tom Cruise. Don't make fun of him. There was one point that he talked uh, Justin Bieber, or he was talking about fighting Justin Bieber in like a UFC fight. And they're like, yeah, we know Justin Bieber's 30 years younger than you, but also we're pretty sure you'd kill him. Um, Take My Breath Away by Berlin is in this movie. But this is like an all-time great movie, and this is like, okay. Ooh. You know, it's, it's 420 today. And we got a 6.9. We got the whole memes going on. 
just a whole ass meme. Okay, so this is the movie that I was talking about that was terrible right after Days of Future Past, right? Um, and it's terrible, so we're going to go with lower. I have nothing to say about it. Oh, here's the question. Is X-Men Day, uh, uh, X-Men Dark Phoenix, Dark Fetus? Phoenix. Um, worse than Casablanca. Hmm. Let me see. Well, Casablanca is considered to be one of the greatest movies of all time. Probably the most quoted movie of all time. I don't know if that's fair, but you got like, here's looking at you, kid. If you can play it for her, you can play it for me. This looks like the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Uh, round up the usual suspects. Uh, I have nothing to say about this one, but it's not Casablanca. Uncut Gems. Um, so I watched this movie one time, and I find the fact that he's consistently being talked over or is talking over someone to be incredibly annoying. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, the movie itself is okay. Um... Perhaps warrants a second viewing. Um, this is a like a swerve soiree. Sorry, is that the right word? There's a word that's on my mind, but um, Adam Sandler. For some reason, my brain wasn't working. Uh, kind of going into serious film again. Uh, he did like the punch drunk love thing. Um, I'm pretty sure that when Netflix signed him to like a seven movie deal, they didn't think they were going to get the schlock that they did, but they did get schlock. Um, so, um, but they got this, so that's cool. I'm going to imagine it's got to be worse than an eight. Yeah. The Help. I've never seen The Help. This is, might be where this ends. I'm going to assume, I think Viola Davis won an Oscar for this. Oh, maybe it was, um, hold on. What's her name? She played Ma. Ooh, her name is like right at the tip of my tongue. Octavia Spencer? Maybe it was her. Oh, we did it. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I believe it's in the top 250. What can I say about the Holy Grail? Um, there are Frenchmen who fart in my general direction. Um, I'm a silly person. Um... You have to, uh, a duck weighs the same as wood. Um, did we lose any of these? I know that, um, I think Graham Chapman. Graham is the one who plays uh, King Arthur. He is has passed. I um, believe there's a Mick Jones. Who, who's the animator who did... Um, uh, the animator's still alive. John Cleese is still alive. I think one one passed recently though. Was it Mick Jones? Is that what his name is? Mick Jones? No, Terry Terry Jones. Mick Jones is like a lead singer of like Foreigner. And then I think there's also a Mick Jones in the Clash. Terry Jones and Terry Gilliam. Terry Gilliam's still kicking. Uh, I think Terry Jones may have passed. I gotta believe this is considered better. Yeah. Stand by me. Um, I remember watching this with my friends at a a movie night when we were like 18 or something. Um, which one's River? Which one's River Phoenix? Which one's Will Will Wheaton? Which one's Will Wheaton? I also didn't know Rob Reiner directed it. Um, don't go poking bodies with sticks. Um, Kiefer Sutherland is the Kiefer Sutherland is in this. Um, little known fact: I've seen um, Kiefer Sutherland play with his country band live. You know, I wanted to do a shot with Keith or Sutherland, but it didn't really materialize because we had to get um, a friend home early and stuff like that. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, my score right now is 14, which I think is pretty respectable for a first time here. Also, it's my favorite number, but I believe Stand By Me is going to be lower. Only just. Um, ooh, will Fast 9 be lower than Stand By Me? Yes. And if it's not, we got some problems. This is a problem. Um, Justin Lin. Um, the other ones were, well, at least a few were directed by the guy that created Saw, which is like a really weird combination. He does a lot of horror movies like uh, the puppet one. Uh, 
Silence? Dead dead silence. What's his name? Let's do a little bit of investigation here, shall we? Dead silence. Donnie Wahlberg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you tell me the name of the director here? James Wan. Yeah. This is Lilith. The Elephant Man. Um, love to see David Lynch get some love on this. Um, David Lynch is a madman when it comes to cinema. If you're into really weird stuff, you know, I don't judge. I always, I've always had a really strong motto, which is if you're weird, just be really weird at home, you know? Because people are going to judge you. It's not for me. It's for you, you know? I, I don't care what you do outside. I just want you to feel comfortable with yourself. Um, and uh, so if you are that weird person, go watch David Lynch at home. Um, go watch Eraserhead, Mulholland Drive, Lost Highway, um, Dune, the original. Not the new one, which is overrated. Um, did he do Lawnmower Man or whatever the hell? Uh, this is going to be higher than 5.2. Oh, Saving Private Ryan. Shout out to Pettis. Just told me it was in his top five favorite movies of all time. Um, I like Saving Private Ryan quite a bit. I think it's going to be lower than The Elephant Man, though. I don't know. It's, it's sort of an epic. That opening scene is just ridiculously good. Tom Hanks is ridic ridiculously good in this movie. I'm going to go with higher. I'm sorry, lower. Oh, and that's where it ends, boys. 8.6. So, in their opinion, let's see this. Nope, just IMDb. If I'm, if I'm correct here. Vertigo was considered to be worse than Saving Private Ryan. All right, that's going to end the video for today. Like, comment, and subscribe. We got two up today. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that perfect game of the Wordle Gauntlet. Um, we got to 17 today. Silver, silver medal. All right, so we have a new goal is to get like a gold medal on this thing. Um, so maybe we do one of these or two a day, one of each. We'll see. Keep on moving forward. Um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you like this. In the previous video, um, I asked if you guys like what kind of content based upon the Wordle Gauntlet you'd like to see more of. This is kind of more in the vein of that frame thing. So if you like the frame stuff, this is more of that. Um, and we'll try to do better next time. Deuces, see you in the next one.